Hi all, I'm still very happy about my result recently in the real life five minute tournament occurring on Friday just gone in the North Circular League Capes Trophy. Uh, this is my game against Robert Eames which I recall from memory, I think it's accurate. I kicked off with E4. So Robert Eames is a FIDE master, he's been over 2300 FIDE and he's currently about 212 ECF the same as me. So D6, D4, he plays Knight F6, Piertz, Knight C3, G6, I go for the Austrian attack just like the ICC. This system uh, is very dangerous and we've got Nakamura type ideas of sacrificing a knight on C3 sometimes with an H4, H5 attack. Bishop G7, Knight F3, he strikes quickly on, at the center with C5. And here I played E5 actually, Bishop B5 check is more commonly played in this position. For example, like this, E5 here. This kind of thing has occurred before. Uh, I think there's an interesting perpetual check line <laughs> where black sacrifices the queen. Theoretical, I've seen this years back. And I think Ali Montezavi might have originated this line. Uh, so it's, it, was a, it was a discovery in this line. But yeah, very committal line to get a draw there, sacrificing the queen. It's a funny line, you might not have seen that before. But I didn't go in for this, this main line. I actually, it's only a five minute game. I played um, e5 here, but I played this interesting move I fought, e6. It has actually been played before. So a pawn sack, I thought this would cause some problems in the opening. I wanted the cause of my opponents to think in the opening. Uh, it's not too bad for white, this conception, d5. He plays now e5, I think better from an engine point of view is e takes. And it's not entirely sound of course, but I thought it would just give some practical chances. So um, yeah, he played actually e5 and this lets me use that e6 square. I pounced onto the e6 square. Knight f8 looks awkward, bishop b5 check, bishop e7. I put the bishop on c4 just to mark out e6. Now he plays b5 and I was a bit worried, could I not just take this? He's blocked in this diagonal so there's no tactic for losing a piece in this particular position. Uh, I thought after making the move that knight takes b5 is playable. It was actually clock and move by the way so I could actually change my mind if I hadn't pressed the clock. It, that's the rules of the five minute tournament. Um, bishop takes b5 didn't seem as good as knight takes b5, just knight takes b5. So I played that one. h6 and I go into that, that e6 square. Apparently uh, the engine reckons knight e4 is better. I think there's some naughtiness with knight takes here coming up. This looks a very awkward position for black. Uh, so say, say black, let's give black a move. G5, well there's Queen H5 check there, no, not G5. A, A6 just to see what, what this is about. Knight B takes, Knight takes, apparently this is this is very strong for white. I think uh, strong things are happening here. So okay, I went into that E6, it seemed lucrative enough to go into E6. Takes, takes, now Bishop C6 and actually black's position is not entirely bad. I played Queen G4 and the thing is here apparently black is close to equalizing if black castles here he should have castled just offering G6. If Queen G6 I think I'm actually going to be worse significantly worse taking take that wins a piece <laughs> so yeah I can't take on G6. If I castle here then I was a bit worried about this during the game. Couldn't he just do this? This position, it looks as though the pawn on e6 doesn't seem that significant now. In fact, white might be still in the game with precise play, so f takes. And if takes now, bishop takes h6, and this is dangerous. The knight is actually just about holding d4 here. So this position is good for white if we had this position. Uh, you can see why it's crashing through like this, for example. Um, this annoying queen d1 check to rook f7 can be extinguished apparently with knight d6. Uh, so then rook f7 to follow, so this is, this is good for white. 
So yeah, but I mean that would require precise calculation. I don't know if I'd have even, you know, I've got a castle here, then I've got a sacrifice bishop. Um, basically, yeah, if if taking here, um, yeah, bishop takes h6. So yeah, it will be complicated position. Um, fortunately, and this made the game easier to remember for me to show you the game. We played g5, so there's a bit of luck there. So yes, I guess you can spot it. Five seconds. Yeah, queen h5 is, is mating. That pawn is actually very useful in this particular scenario. He's getting mated. Uh, I think he might have played that. So anyway, that was the end of that. So a bit of a lucky win there. He could have just, um, yeah, if he had just castled here, it would have been a battle. I had similar, n not, I had other lucky uh, opportunities as well in the tournament. I'll try and try and remember some of the game fragments, if not the entire games maybe if there's interest in other videos. It was such a fun event. Um yeah, I wasn't expecting to do that well on board one uh before before going into the tournament. So yeah, it was interesting. Okay, uh comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.